Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Lisa Suit Larry, Wet Dreams Don't Dry. The reason why I say welcome back is because I have already played through this game. And the reason why, why I reinstalled and started the game is because there is new content here. As you can see, we now got an epilogue to play through. I don't know at what point Crazy Pons made and released this, but here it is. In the epilogue we will be playing as Fate, the woman Larry was after in the base game. I believe we are about to learn her past and how she got to the position she was in the base game. She might have officially been working under someone in the company whose name I have forgotten already by now, but in reality she was the one pulling the strings and her quote unquote boss was actually working for her. So we are about to learn how that relationship started. And the other reason for this is the fact that Crazy Punch had released a sequel called Lisa Suit Larry Wet Dreams Dry Twice. It was released earlier last month, October. We are gonna play that after finishing this epilogue. Which by the way is not gonna be long, about 30 to 45 minutes or so. I haven't watched anyone play this, so this will be a blind playthrough, but I did notice a lot of people had finished the epilogue in one sitting. So that's what I plan to do as well. And with that, without any further ado, let's go back to listen to Larry, Wet Dreamstone try as Fate and maybe learn what happened to her uh, after we last saw her in the base game. This game content contains massive spoilers for the story of Wet Dreamstone Try. Are you sure you want to play the epilogue? Yes, I will, because we have already played through the base game. Shortly, shortly before. Hmm? Friends! You drive the company halfway to ruin and already you're telling me you just want to be friends! <sighs> well, we have been through a lot together, haven't we? Never forget where you came from. Never forget who made you what you are today. Long before. Those cell phones won't be around much longer. The future belongs to modern devices. Devices that are much more than just telephones. And I think we're on the right track. <clears throat> well, that is. Anyway, I think that we now need to look further down the road. We must not allow ourselves to be guided solely by short-term profit. It's about helping people live their everyday lives, about making the world a better place. As CEO of Prune, I want to drive this project forward. A, a new kind of portable hardware that features a revolutionary artificial intelligence that I'm working on as we speak. I call her Pi, and the device she'll be running on, the Pi phone. If we get this right, this device will become an indispensable tool in the life of every single human being and change the world. And that's not all. As you can see from the financial projection, this device will catapult us to the top of the world's hardware and software companies. For you as investors, this is truly a unique opportunity. I find that an extremely optimistic prediction. What a crazy idea. You want us to invest in a, a toy? Like that? Okay, dialogue options. The emerging smarter cell phones, the so-called smartphones, will change everything. Traditional cell phones won't be around much longer. Well, we she kind of already said that. The technical revolution is at hand. Hmm. Well, let's, I like the first one the, the best. The emerging smarter cell phones, the so-called smartphones, will change everything. That thing doesn't look particularly smart. Business is good. Why not just keep on going the way we have been? Stagnation is death. We have a wide blue ocean uh, ahead of us. This, this will allow us to reach new target groups. Yeah, this sounds like a smart thing to say. This will allow us to reach new target groups. Why should we antagonize our regular customers? A touch screen? But keys are much more practical. Devices like this are incredibly flexible. It's like having a movie theater in your pocket. Soon you won't need keys anymore. Mm. 
while they are flexible. Devices like this are incredibly flexible. Well, all I can see are fingerprints all over it. Uh, whatever. And that's too dangerous for me to invest my money in. This smartphone is far-fetched enough. I don't even want to talk about this artificial intelligence thing. But Paracrim Shift, the 21st century, this changes everything. Well, yes, yes, it they, they kind of did change everything, the smartphones, that is. This changes everything! Apart from that, your company really has a problem when a... A woman has to be at the top. Ah, <laughs> I see. Hey, could you bring us another you know? coffee, please? At least you look good in that dress. It'd look good on you as a secretary, too. Why didn't you try another industry? Kitchen appliances can be pretty high-tech, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, we should really invest in other areas. Maybe something with weapons. <laughs> of course. Ah, uh, good old sexism. Later. Well, later than just a minute ago. Not later than the scene before. Later at any rate. Yeah, yeah. And I just have to pretend I understand what I'm talking about? Yes, you actors can memorize anything, right? But it's of the utmost importance that it looks like you had the ideas. Of course, that's my specialty. You have to be convincing on stage, really be able to sell the technology, even if it's not yours. Didn't you say you weren't quite ready with that virtual helper? You mean Pi? Oh. She's ready, all right. I have to get development funding so I can make the algorithm self-learning. That will change everything when it's done. We can really make a difference here. Help people make the world a more fair and just place. And if the presentation goes off well, do I have the job? If the presentation goes well, Bill, you can have it all. You will then officially become the CEO of Prune Incorporated. You'll own the whole city. Everyone! will be at your feet. And we'll make a killing! Yes, but that's not the point. We can deliver the sum of the world's knowledge to every human being on the planet. A vegan latte with tofu strudel and mangosteen extract for... BJ. BJ? Bill Jobs. I thought that was obvious. <laughs> BJ? That doesn't sound half bad. Maybe you should always call yourself that, Bill. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I have to get going. I'll see you at the presentation tomorrow. Yes, I'm really looking forward to working with you. A and don't forget the suit. Oh, and do something with your hair. Hmm, so that's how they met. So Bill, or BJ, used to be a hippie. Actor. As the new CEO of Prune, I personally want to drive this project forward. A new type of portable hardware that also features a revolutionary artificial intelligence. I call her Pi, and the device she'll be running on, the Pi Phone. I think those investors adore him. This could all work out as intended. As you can see from the financial projection, this device will catapult us to the top of the world's hardware and software companies. For you as investors, this is truly a unique opportunity. Hmm, it's BJ, isn't it? Well, I can see that you're a high-caliber man, and <laughs> that's a very interesting idea, this Pi phone, but I'm not convinced. The emerging smarter cell phones, the so-called smartphones, will change everything. <laughs> the longer I think about it, the better it sounds. Business is good. Why not just keep on going the way we have been? This will allow us to reach new target groups. Well, that's really well said. She said that too last A time. Touch screen? But aren't keys more practical? Devices like this are incredibly flexible. I never looked at it that way before. Son of a bitch. Well, BJ, I have to say... Never before have I seen such a technically impressive vision of the future. Oh, God. And you're really rocking that suit. It's easy to see how much expertise you have. <laughs> I do believe that with you, our money is in excellent hands. I can't believe it. It, it worked. Yeah, sexism is a thing. Was back then and 
Still is in some places, unfortunately. How could you screw that up so badly, BJ? You had everything, everything you could have ever dreamt of. But again and again, off you went, getting drunk as a skunk in town for absolutely no reason. We were barely able to keep them from trumpeting the news about which dives you were in. You even lost a secret prototype in that bar. Oh, and what about you? Have you gotten everything done exactly the way you planned? Kept every promise you ever made? Your revolutionary new AI, the one that was supposed to improve the lives of people everywhere? Pi, the self-learning Pi 2. All just a con. The AI versions we released were just data krakens we used to make a killing. That's all. I would have been a lot further ahead if you hadn't kept throwing a wrench into the works all the time. Ha! <laughs> what happened to you? You used to be a talented young visionary. You wanted to change everyone's life for the better back then. I did everything I could. I tried everything, but no one listened to me. Nobody even gave me a chance. Nobody... Damn it! We have an intruder. Is that Larry? Who the hell is it now? I have to take care of this. Yeah, it must be Larry. One locking up of Larry later. Yeah, it was Larry. I can't believe Larry showed up here. But he can't do any more damage. Maybe I'm being a little too hard on them. No, they'll get what they deserve. I've been letting people walk all over me for too long. Well, the board knows full well I'm the only one who can clean up this mess and save the company. I own the place anyway. It's about time I officially stepped into the spotlight. Maybe that whole thing Larry started wasn't so bad after all. I need to call the board. Oh, damn it, no signal. Maybe up there. You ser seriously have no signal here? Okay, seems to be working ah, now. The chairman of the board. Perfect. I was just going to call. Yes, I saw the share price. That lawyer chick may have something on BJ, but he's out anyway. But I still own the majority share in Prune, and I... Which investor? No, not going to happen. And that's still my decision and not some investors, no matter how many shares he buys. <laughs> I said I haven't finished programming the new AI. The current iteration isn't ready for release yet. If we were to incorporate it into a product, it could... No, never. I'm the only one who has access to the code, and I'm not going to change that. In the wrong hands, that AI is dangerous. I still have to work on it first. I don't react well to threats. Oh Unbelievable. shit. Unbelievable. The first thing I'm going to do when I'm officially CEO is replace the whole board. Give them my AI like hell. It stays on my personal Python and nowhere else. Faith? Oh, there he comes. Don't come any closer. Let's talk this over. You're worse than BJ. Can't take much, can he? Don't make me throw you off. This is all just a big misunderstanding. How did you get out, anyway? I used a door opener. I mean, out is the... Hold on. What door opener? Some red button. The red button beside the door? That's not the door opener. I knew it was a stupid idea to put the button right next to the door. <laughs> Faith! What have you done? You done, you idiot. You activated the self-destruct. And there it goes. I wonder what happened to BJ. Oh, that red button. Yes, the red button next to the... It doesn't fucking matter. 
Faith, go left. That was close. Larry, in spite of everything, you still saved my life. You're too beautiful to be crushed. Oh, Larry, <laughs> I think we should... You should what? Oh, oh crap. Ouch. Ah. Uh, my head is pounding. What? What happened? Where am I? How did I get here? And who am I? My name oh. is... Wait. Oh, I got it on the tip of my tongue. Damn it! Okay, relax. I have to find something here that'll help me. So, Faith got an amnesia. Okay. So, we are on a... Uh, not a lifeboat, but a boat anyway. And, uh, well, let's see. Bow. What does it mean by bow? Okay, now, so we got a blanket. That slimy thing that 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 fe fell, on, fell onto our head. Suitcase, well... Let's see what's underneath. A bucket. It has a hole in it, so there's no need for me to drag it around the way it is. Okay, suitcase. Let's see what's in here. Oh, damn. Lots of money, passport, uh, pretty some pretty underwear and lots of papers and documents. A pocket. That's obviously a portable battery. Okay, good to know. I don't know what for yet, but documents are always helpful. And besides, there's another pocket there. A cable. I'm sure I can do something with it. Okay, can you... Uh, pick up the power bank or the battery. Electricity to go. How practical. It has documents in it. Okay. Lots of money. Hopefully this currency is valid wherever I'm going. Uh, passports. You never know when a submarine might suddenly pop up and want to see a passport. And um, pretty underwear. I hope that really is my underwear. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, glowing box. Or pipe phone. No idea what I'm supposed to do with that. So I don't even so I don't even know how to use a pipe phone anymore. What is this thing again? How can I help you? What? Well, I'm here on this boat and I don't know who I am. Name. Faithless. That's my name. <laughs> Confirmed. Good. Faithless. Uh but that isn't really helping me. Situation analysis in progress. Sensors activated. Please wait. Water. Water everywhere and not a drop to drink. Storm detected. Hazard level 1. Approaching your position. Oh crap. A quick change of location is recommended. Can you call for help? I can forward your location via the emergency call function. Then do it. Emergency call function. Low battery. Power save mode activated. Please recharge as soon as possible. Beep. The thing? Uh, hello? Where the hell am I going to find electricity out here? Well, it just so happens that we just picked up... Uh, we just picked up a battery. So, use, use I that. I don't think this battery's working. Oh, wait. Oh, yes, of course. It, it's a normal battery. Of course it doesn't go into a pipe phone. Stupid me. And why do we have this plug thing? Uh... Uh, whatever. Uh, how can we do it like this? We connect this. The cable you have used is not operational. Wait, what? Well, can, can we at least connect it to the pipe phone? That won't help without a power source. Well, I was thinking that this battery could be a power source, but... Yeah, how could you possibly connect those two? Well, let's see. Maybe there's something else here. So, what's this slimy thing anyway? Blech. It's all slimy! Okay, but uh, what is it? Slimy thing? Not exactly. Hand in glove. Okay. And what's the point of that? 
to, re to recharge the Python, of course, but... Now then, anything else here? Can I pick it, it up? It has a hole in it, so there's no need for me to drag it around the way it is. Okay, okay. So, let's go back. And what about at the stern? Oh, there's a water here, wonderful. The water's too murky. I can't see anything in it. Okay, we got a fishing line. Hopefully I won't get it all tangled up. And worms? It's wriggling. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I found it funny, funny when she said that. Are we going to go fishing? And flare gun. If I had to, I could also use it to shoot pirates. Well, well, thankfully we are nowhere near Somalia. So I, so I, I don't think that we need to worry about pirates. Uh, hand starter. The ropes hopelessly jammed. Okay, outboard motor. I never get it to work just by looking at it. And we got a life pre uh, preserver. The life preserver is fastened securely. The water's too murky. Can't see anything in it. Can't see anything, you say? Hmm. Uh, why does this worm have a laser suit? Why does it look like Larry? Uh, let's not think about that. The life preserver. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to click that. Go back. Anything else? So, bow. Oh, the bow is the part of this bow, so that's what it means. And stern, okay. Approaching storm. Do you want me to wave it off with my hands? <laughs> okay. I, at first, I thought. I, at first, I thought that 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 these were rocks, but they actually stormy clouds. Okay. Okay, so I have to get some electricity out of this battery into this pipe form by using this charged cable. The cable you have used is not operational. It's not operational. You mean that it's broken? Not a good match. Okay, okay, fine. Can we connect this? No, that'd be a bad combination. What does this document say anyway? And what's the point of that? I wanted you to read it, but fine, don't read it. Okay, so, um, hmm. I'm not jumping in there. Don't even know if I can swim. <laughs> you don't even know if you can swim. Okay. Okay, so something tells me that, that we, have, we have to fix this bucket somehow. Can we, uh... Can we add? Can we add this? Put this slimy thing in there. That would be misappropriation. Okay. Okay. Mm, I don't think a shooting. I don't think a shooting the flare gun at this point is a good idea. Can I put this worm? Into this fishing line. Not a good match. I was think I was thinking that maybe we should go fishing. No, that'd be a bad combination. Uh, what is? Not exactly hand in glove. Okay, so I can't the combine this. The cable you have used is not operational. That won't help without a power source. The cable you have. The cable you have used is, is not operational, so are you telling me that the cable is broken somehow? I don't think this battery's working. No, that'd be a bad combination. A super power bank with super power. Okay, so that's how you make, make her describe the items. A USB cable. Yes, USB cable, it goes there. But how do I... how do we get the power from there? Ugh, a round puck covered in some greasy substance. Ugh. Let's hope that it's only, like, grease or oil or something. Or lube. I hope I won't be forced to try and catch a fish. You may have to, my dear. That worm is looking awfully familiar. Hmm, yeah, I wonder why. I can't do anything with that without a flare. Ah, so you don't have a flare in that gun. Okay. Can I put that in there? And what's the point of that? I don't know, I'm just trying stuff out. 
So what does the document say? There's something about a takeover bid of a company called Prune by some Asian investors. Seems to be some kind of fruit company. <laughs> Very comfortable to wear. Oh my god, you... You were actually using this in your... Ah, fate. Okay. Okay. This is Larry, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's... So there must be something in the, in the water there, but we can't see anything because it's too murky. So... There's so much water in the boat. How did it get here? And how did I get here? We may have to... Oh yeah, we, we may have to use the bucket to get rid of this water here. But how do we fix the bucket? Let's see, can I use this to, I don't know, fish something out of the water? Uh, uh, no. Well, of course not, because it, it, it doesn't have a hook or anything. Of course it... Oh wait, is that a hook? Uh, no, it's not. It's just a fishing line. Never mind. Okay, so we have to fix the bucket somehow. We have to fix the bucket. Can I use... Can we use this plug to uh, fill that hole? I think I'll just leave that exactly where it is. Oh, fine. Don't even try it. Uh, hmm, I did try the slimy thing here. Let's just forget it. I'm gonna uh, t try this one one more time, just to make sure that I'm clicking on the hole. I think I'll just leave that exactly where it is. Right. Um, battery. Good idea. Not... Damn. Hmm. Is there anything else that I have missed? I have my missing. I'll here? just close that up again. Yeah, you do that. Nothing behind the suitcase. Okay. Can I pick up the underwear? I hope that really is my underwear. Well, pick it up. If it's mine, I packed superbly for every situation. <laughs> I hope. That really is my underwear. Okay, so you're not gonna uh, pick any of this shit up. You never know when a sub... Oh, yeah. It has documents in it. So we're not gonna pick up the underwear. Or maybe we can use something with it. Um, what do we want to do with, that, with, this, with, with her underwear? I don't know. Let's just forget it. Maybe I should just I should just try everything. Is it is I? Yes, I is also inventory. That would be I'm just gonna try everything on Could it. I... Uh... Yeah yeah. The no. hole That would be uh... Okay, fine. Let's just forget. I think I'll just leave that exactly where it is. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, go back. Back to the stern. Hmm, hatch. Uh, screw down tight. Of course it is. Do we have anything that we can use to open it? I don't think so, no. We can't use the... Good idea! No, we can't use the USB... Uh, end of the cable to open it or anything. Hmm, rope. Open. I can't get it out of the water. It seems to be tied to something somewhere. Okay, there's an... Oh, okay, so it, it must be tied somewhere under the water then. Okay, fine. The rope's hopelessly jammed. Okay. Rusty hinge. Completely rusted. It won't budge. The hinge is rusted. Ah, okay. So let's use this. Oh. Now, everything's lubricated. Then let's have a look. Okay, first aid kit. I'm not hurt, but let's see. Hmm, duct tape, always useful. Why do I have the urge to stick this over some guy's mouse? <laughs> a guy in a white suit. Aha, uh -huh, look at that, folks. USB port. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Uh, Band-aid. Band-aids are always useful. Always, my dear. 
Okay. Put that uh, sucker in there. The cable doesn't fit. What? Maybe I tried it the wrong way round. I'll try plugging the cable in the other way round. Yes, please do. Doesn't work either. What do you mean it doesn't work? Okay, I'll turn it round again, even though it makes absolutely no sense. Oh, it actually works. Ugh, oh, it worked. I hate USB. <laughs> Okay, now can we charge the phone? Oh, the storm is Battery coming closer. Charging. All system functions restored. Right. Now what? Storm detected. Hazard level 2. Approaching fast. A change of location is recommended. That's what I've been trying to do the whole time. You're not much help. Whoever designed you should be ashamed. Then send the distress call now. It is recommended that you first change your location quickly. Outboard motor detected. Recommendation. Activate. Yeah. Thanks for that. Okay, so let's turn this bad boy the on. The rope's hopelessly jammed. Except, except that it's still jammed, of course. And what's that? A needle. I hope it doesn't prick me from inside my pocket. On the other hand, this dress doesn't even have any pockets. Then where are you... Where where are you placing all these items then? I don't think I want to know. Okay, um... So I believe that we need to get rid of this water. Oh, I see. Okay. So let's fix the bucket here. By using... The uh, the bandage. Let's just forget it. Okay, okay, fine, of course. Stupid of me. Duct tape. Duct, duct tape fixes everything. That should be enough to use the bucket. Indeed. Uh, funnily enough, uh, in Finland we, we, we call duct tape as Jesus tape. It might come in handy if it was freshly patched. Hmm. Because Jesus fixes everything. Okay, let's get okay, rid of the water. Okay, here we go. Water to water. Okay, there's a screwdriver. Now I want to screw something too. Oh. <laughs> oh my. She wants to screw something too, folks. Open. I have a life preserver now, but I'm not saved yet. Well, well at least you got that and uh, at least you got this now in case you uh, fall to the water, but now let's open this hatch. Now it's open. The motor has Bluetooth. What company would come up with an idea that stupid? That would be yours, my dear. Connection established. Motor operational. Motor cannot be started as no fuel is available. God the damn tank's it. empty. All that work was for nothing. Storm detected. Hazard level 3. You are now officially in danger. Recommendation. Throw out life preserver. Throw out the life preserver? There's no one in the water. And hopefully I'm not going to fall in. The Prune High Sea Safety Protocol stipulates that a life preserver must be thrown out. Okay then, if you say so. Uh, why... Why would we throw a life preserver to the water? Well, let's just listen to the phone, I suppose. Whoa, well, that life preserver isn't Hazard possibly level helpful. Four. No life preserver within range. Situation hopeless. God damn, damn it. it! Then send the distress call! Storm is about to hit your vessel. To whom should your last backup be sent? But I can't remember anybody from my former life. Th there must be somebody. Somebody who impressed me, who I can remember. A, a Larry... A laugher. Your location and an encrypted backup of your entire Pi phone, including private data, oh. are being sent to Larry Laffer. Wait! I'm not exactly sure who that is. Storm has arrived. Hazard level 5. Have a nice day. Oh, shit. Oh crap. Okay, what happened? Did she get shipwrecked? Well, her boat got wrecked. 
Well, at least the Python is alright. And it just sent all the files. Transmission and... successful. Yeah. At least it managed to send all of this stuff to Larry. Hmm, that's it. So, ladies and gents, I suppose that that was the end of Lisa said Larry, Wet Dreams Don't Try epilogue. And next time we will start playing the sequel, Lisa said Larry, Wet Dreams Try Twice. So, thank you for watching and see you in the sequel.